Our president was shot, an American citizen killed, while simply exercising his freedom to support the candidate of his choosing. We cannot, must not, go down this road in America. We've traveled before throughout our history. President Biden going on to say we must stand together. The message from him after the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump Saturday, how the world is responding on the first day of the Republican National Convention kicking off later today. And the 34th annual American Century Championship came to an end yesterday. Our Nevada Sportsnet team has a recap of the final round at Edgewood. Live, streaming, and on FoxReno.com, this is Mornings on Fox 11. Good morning. 7 o'clock is your time on a Monday. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Madison McKay. And I'm Chris Murphy. And a live look for you from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the arena where they're going to have the Republican National Convention get underway in just a matter of hours. It's a four-day event. Typically, the nominee would be the keynote speaker on the last day. But in light of what happened Saturday, will Donald Trump emerge and make a public appearance after what happened? So many questions, though, remain unanswered after that gunman set aim on the former president at a rally Saturday. Trump narrowly escaped death or serious injury, suffering a minor wound to his ear at his Pennsylvania rally. One rally goer was killed and two others are in critical condition. The shot came from a nearby rooftop, but now investigators are tasked with determining if it was a security shortfall. We need to know how could uh, an individual be at that elevation that was seen by apparently bystanders on the ground? Yeah. How could not that not be noticed by uh, by Secret Service? I, lots more questions than answers this morning. So leaders right now calling for a transparent investigation. Several witnesses claim that they saw the suspect climbing the roof and then pointed up, alerting law enforcement. Look up there. Trump was not removed from the stage, of course, right before this close call. Could there be, Madison, any closer a call? Yeah, FBI officials say they believe the Trump rally suspected that the shooter acted alone in this, even though investigators say they're still looking for any potential co-conspirators with this close call. The FBI did not know of this suspect, 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks, before the shooting. So the agency has still not figured out a motive for this attack. The FBI, of course, is investigating as both an assassination attempt and a, a potential act of domestic terrorism took place. Leaders around the world condemning, of course, what happened on Saturday. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says he's sickened by the shooting and political violence is never acceptable. Chinese President Xi Jinping has extended his sympathies to Trump and French President Emmanuel Macron calls it a, quote, drama for our democracies. India's Prime Minister went on to say, quote, violence has no place in politics and democracies. Finally, UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer says, quote, political violence in any form has no place 